Hello, my name is Nefertiria McCaskill, and I am a graduating senior at GSW, and I am doing a series of vlogs about Lady Macbeth for my final project in the course is Print Dead. It's like a digital humanities course, and so I'll be making a digital humanities project, and I... I understand that, you know, Shakespeare is canon and that there are a lot of Shakespeare digital projects and this may be no different, but I want to make a series of blogs um, to have as a, as a more accessible way of discussing scholarship online. Um, and uh, that create, I guess, more democratic discourse. So, like, everyone's opinion on the play is valid. Um, I have decided to discuss the characterization of Lady Macbeth for many reasons. For many reasons, I always found her to be an interesting character from the other uh, female characters in Shakespeare play, um, Shakespeare plays. I also think that Lady Macbeth and Macbeth relationship is unique among other marriages, marriages, marriages in Shakespeare plays. Um, I had written a research paper about her for a previous course, but I was dissatisfied with the, how I didn't draw very clear conclusions at the end of that paper. My previous thesis for the paper was through interpretation, is Lady Macbeth being a non-confirmist, contributing to her marriage uniqueness, or is it due to her being an unnatural woman? More specifically, is Lady Macbeth an urpsing, usurping, usurping wife, a shrew, a witch, or a devoted wife? I would like to improve that thesis to one that is more substantial. Um, my new thesis for the blogs uh, is um, Lady Macbeth characterization and actions within the play forces us to see her as a human being capable of great things and horrible things. Lady Macbeth is willing to imbue herself with masculine qualities, rate her husband to action, and commit well, conspire to commit regicide and unfancied, oh, infanticide, um, experience guilt, and finally commits suicide. Lady Macbeth was not aware of the ramifications of her actions, so she did not count for her guilty conscience. The vlog series is more than a second chance in a previous assignment. I want to discuss academic scholarship in a more casual sense. I want to participate in, a, in an open community where all opinions are valid and respected. Um, it's been a while since I read Macbeth, so I'll do a quick summary to remind myself and others. Um, the play is about a Scottish Dane visited by three witches, and he receives a prophecy about him becoming king. Lady Macbeth, upon learning about this prophecy, gives Mac, like, kind of urges Macbeth, not like she does, uh, urges Macbeth, um, Macbeth 
uh, along with his wife, Macbeth succeed in killing the King Duncan. And so he then takes the role as king and his rule is plagued with paranoia and even more murder in order to maintain his position. Um, so basically he becomes a tyrant. And during that time, Lady Macbeth role diminishes, like she almost basically um, disappear from the play. And when she does reappear, there's she has a she has sleepwalking episodes, and then she later commits suicide. And that because it, Macbeth is a tragedy, so of course Macbeth has a very tragic end. Um, probably real quick, give us some context about Shakespeare himself. He was born in 1564 um, in Stratford-upon-Avon. Um, he attended grammar school, but I don't think he attended school beyond that. He later on uh, marries Anne Hathaway, an older woman. And they have three children. Somewhere around 1590, he go. He moves to London to he moves to London to establish himself as a playwright, and um, the Gold Theater was built in Southwark in fifteen ninety nine. He was a founding member of the Chamberlain's Men, and um, he was a favorite of both Queen Elizabeth and James the um, First. And James had gave them the honor of naming them the King's Men, and in, um, in sixteen o three, and. Shakespeare later retired from the theater scene around that time. Um, I think he was part owner of the Globe Theater as well. And um, he returned to Stratford. Um, he lives there in 1613. And I believe he died. Did he die? Oh God, the camera. Uh, he died. Okay, he retired to Stratford and he died in 1616 at the age of 52. Um, his work has been collected over the years and published in different folios. And I believe the first folio was published in 1623. I think in all I would have, I would have completed about 11 vlogs about Lady Macbeth. And um, each vlog will have multiple themes, themes I'll be discussing. Marriage, gender roles, sexual norms, witchcraft, um, masculinity, femininity, um, guilt, fathers, murder. Um, all to like, I guess like a character export, exploration of Lady Macbeth. Um, and basically, what is she? Is she a witch? Is she a masculine woman? Is she a devoted wife? Or what, I guess I'm arguing 
about is that she's actually human and that's why we're fascinated by her but also repulsed by her um again should be about 10 to 11 vlog videos over the course of maybe two weeks or so um until the due date which is um april 29th is when all the videos for my course assignment is due um well until then i'll see you next time Bye.